So I'm, I'm sitting here at the cornfields of Moen Kopi, Hopi, right below my foot here, sitting on a cliff. And there's a whole bunch more right down here. All of this. It's cornfields. And the village is over here. And we're going to get a pretty cool sunset it looks like. Pretty cool sunset. Beautiful. So I'm at the cornfields here of Moan Kopi at Hopi. And I just finished being up on First Mesa today, Wapi, Polaka, up in Hopi land. I'm driving home towards Tuba City and Sedona. So one of the messages we were getting today, being um, up on Hopi land, one of the messages we were getting was that really the old native ways whether it's the dream time in Australia or Africa or here in the Hopi or the Incas or the Laika shamans of Peru, they can't come into the new world with us. Um, I know it's going to be a bit controversial probably, but there's a combination coming. There's a total combination coming of the technical, the star people, the computer age, all that is combining with the native, the traditional, and that's the experimenter on earth, that we are to combine those two somehow. There's little bats flying here above me. And um, so we don't have to repeat the same cycle we did with Atlantis last time. America is at, a, is at the precipice again, or is she going to misuse HARP, her uh, electromagnetic weapons, as we did back in Atlantis? We misused it at one point and overamped our weapons through the Earth itself to the Gobi Desert. Uh, there is scientific proof now of, you know, nuclear uh, activity, war, fused rock, radioactivity, Geiger counters, etc., in the in the Gobi Desert. And the sun is just actually disappearing behind a cloud there. So that's what we did last time. We sent the rays from the great crystal of Atlantis right through the earth. Mother Earth sort of said that's enough and sank the whole continent of Atlantis. And so that whole area of the Gobi Desert is sort of a desert wasteland. The Hopi that we've been visiting, they during that time, during that flood, 10,500 B.C., went underground and lived with what, who they call the ant people and came out in the Grand Canyon, which is literally just a little ways, well, out here it's, you know, 60 miles. Um, so are we going to repeat that? Or are we going to create something new? Now that China is again asserting herself and the, the conflict, if you will, or the contest, I should say, is going to be, be between the Americans and the Chinese in a sense. So here we are. We get to decide. You get to decide. We all get to decide how we want this to play out. There is a real, for those that want it now, we're going to have a merging, a melting of the technological with the traditional. My future seeing vision shows me that we're going to have communities like they, they have here at Moen Kopi, growing their own food, so forth, in the stillness. But it will also be hooked up with technology. And technology will not have to be completely abandoned. Governments will dissolve. Large governments, the one world thing that, that you know, the, that spreads across the internet a lot about the one world government and so forth, that is, there is a push towards that by the, the old uh, European Illuminati and so forth, but it's not going to happen. Mother Earth herself again will step in if it heads that direction. Um, and solar flares or whatever needs to happen to disrupt the electromagnetic systems, communications, cars, whatever. Um, that's our choice. It's up to us.
What do you want? What do you want? Say what you want. Ask for what you want. Ask God the universe for what you want. Ask for what you want to happen. Are you ready for ease again? Or are you ready for a taste of what the Hopi do here, of sort of living in the timeless space, absolute quiet, except for the cars going by? Quiet sunset. Stillness that I can hear from all way over the village, the kids playing. Ask for what you want. 